theaters are wonderful places. Sure, you can watch a movie at home, but there's no better place to see a movie than on the big screen. With the delicious smell of fresh popcorn and the plush, comfortable seats with the handy cup holders, it's fun for everyone. Except for the person who has to sit behind Mr. Tall. Oh. oh, hi, Mr. Grumpy. Is that seat taken? No, Miss Chatterbox. Go ahead. Wow, great seats. Not too close, not too far. Just right in the middle. I always come early to get the best seat. I've been looking forward to this movie for weeks. Oh, it's really, really good. I saw it last night. You already saw it. Oh, I like to see movies more than once. That way I can find out what I missed the first time I watched it. I wonder why I missed stuff. Do you ever miss stuff, Mr. Grumpy? No, but that's probably because I don't talk nonstop. Now shush, the movie's starting. So, wanna know what happens? Absolutely not. All right, there's this trout and this kangaroo and they become best friends, even though they're like really, really different. But then they stop speaking to each other because the kangaroo is a better boxer. I do not want to know what happens. Okay, no problemo. That's Italian for no problem. So what do you want to talk about? Nothing. I have a strict rule. No talking in the movie theater. <laughs> well, I never heard of that rule. <laughs> but there are probably lots of rules that I don't know about. Like, don't wear snowshoes on a dance floor. <laughs> That's got to be a rule in the North Pole or somewhere. Shush! We're here to watch the movie. Shh! It wasn't me. It was her. Oh, if he doesn't take off that hat, I'm going to call the manager. Ooh, you broke your no-talking rule. Does that mean I can talk to you now? No! Mr. Rude, your hat's blocking my view of the movie. Oh, tell it to someone who cares. Stop poking me. Are you going to take off that ridiculous hat or not? This hat does not leave my head. It's part of my new look. Gentlemen, I'm the theater manager. What seems to be the problem? Miss Helpful? This man is disturbing me. Well, we certainly don't want that while you're trying to watch a movie. Do you see that big hat he's wearing? Why, yes, I do. And I must say, it looks very nice on you, Mr. Root. Of course it does. But it's blocking my view. Oh, never mind. I'll find a new seat. Great. The only seats left are in the very last row. Who would want to sit this far back? You could barely see. I can tell you what happens to the trout if you can't see that well. Wait, wait, I don't remember this part. Oh. Mr. Noisy, can you please eat your popcorn more quietly? I wasn't aware that I was eating loudly. Oh, crooked cucumbers, that's it. Mr. Noisy is ruining the movie. Hey, hey. Oh, poopity poop. Ow! Mr. Grumpy, why don't you follow me? We'll find you another seat. Where? There aren't any seats left. Oh, we theater managers always have a few folding chairs for emergencies just like this. Ooh, these are great seats, don't you think, Mr. Grumpy? I mean, how often do you get to sit this close? Could you please tell me what I've missed? Shh. Oh. the Dilly Dale Cineplex. To ensure a wonderful movie-going experience for our guests, please take a moment to turn off all cell phones so they don't ring during the show and disturb others. What do you want? Shh, shh yourself. I am on the phone. Stop by our concession stand, where customer service professionals are standing by to serve you with a smile. <laughs> Why not enjoy some fresh hot popcorn? It's popalicious. Whoops. Or try a tasty dilly dog. It's snackerific. Snackerific? <laughs> Who writes this stuff? I quit. Thank you for choosing the Dilly Dale Cineplex. Now sit back and enjoy the movies. For some Mr. Men and Little Misses, the best part of going to the movies is the previews. Coming soon to a theater near you, it's the sunken treasure of the salty sea.
Only one sailor was brave enough to search for the treasure. Well, that sunken treasure's out there somewhere. I can feel it. Ow! Set a course due east. Aye, aye, Captain! Ah! Mr. Man overboard! And only one person knew about the treasure map. Shiver me timbers! It's the lost map of the sunken treasure of the salty sea! Yeah, Captain! You man overboard, remember? But things take a terrible turn upon the arrival of the pesky pirate. Arr, that treasure will be mine! Will the brave captain be able to hold off the pirate and her fearsome crew? I adore fish chowder! Yeah, I'll give you the recipe. <laughs> Treasure ever be found. You have found it, Captain! The sunken treasure of the salty sea! My hero! Ah! So, if you are looking for swashbuckling adventure, sinister sea monsters, <laughs> and scary pirates, <laughs> don't miss the sunken treasure of the salty sea. Coming soon to a theater near you. Yeah! Drive-in movie theater is a different way of watching movies. The screen is outside while you are inside your very own car. Hey there, Mr. Fussy. <laughs> One ticket, please, Miss Giggles. Sure. We're showing two movies tonight. Gamma Goo from Planet Nine and Space Cows from... From... <laughs> from... <laughs> Uh, never mind. I'll just be surprised. <laughs> Hiya, Mr. Fussy! No! I didn't know you were a fan of space movies! Oh, yes, Mr. Messy. And I adore the drive-in. Alone in my snug car. No one to bother me. Mind if I join you? Oh, uh, well, you wouldn't want to leave your car unattended. Oh, I didn't drive. I rode my school... Oh, good! You brought snacks! I was just gonna grab a couple of dilly dogs at the snack bar. Uh, there will be no dilly dogs, hence no mustard in my car. Uh, you see, I have plain rice and mashed potatoes and rolls. All white food. Which, if spilled, will not leave a stain. Can I at least get some popcorn? That's white. Kinda. Oh, very well. But no butter. And hurry. And don't let the mosquitoes in. Is this my car? Mr. Tickle, does it look like your car? Come on in, Mr. Tickle. We'll take some of those snacks off your hands. Good, because my arms were itching for a tickle. woo <laughs> No tickling in such close quarters. <laughs> uh, what are you guys doing? Mr. Nosey, I might Ooh. ask you the same question. Just looking. A boost, Mr. Nosey, if you will. They seem to have licorice inside. Licorice? Ooh, and a blanket. How cozy. Uh, please, uh, this is too many in my car. Party in Mr. Fuzzy's car! Yeah! With free tickles. No! Uh, there is no party going on here. Give me a beat, Nose. Please! The movie is about to start! Hey, does this seat go back? I can't see! Let's open up the windows! No! Mosquitoes! I just want to watch my movie in peace! Miss Daredevil, I have been driven out of my own car. Do you think I could... Watch with me? Come on in! Oh, 
thank you, Miss Daredevil. I didn't know you liked space movies. Oh, yes. I love space, especially in my own. You love space? Then why are we sitting around here? <laughs> Wait! What? Where are we going? To outer space, of course! No! <laughs> As they say, all good things must come to an end. And so too does another night at the movies. The Mr. Men and Little Misses know that soon enough, a new movie will come to town and they'll be able to do it all over again.